We are back now, as promised, with one of the hottest gifts this Christmas, drones being unwrapped today all across the country. So many, in fact, that this week the FAA launched a new drone safety campaign. They're increasingly popular for personal use, and a lot of companies, Amazon and Dom Domino's among them, are talking about someday using drones to transform how they do business. The FAA still has not given the go-ahead for widespread use, but already thousands of would-be pilots are lining up, and some leading aviation schools are stepping up to train them. Here's NBC's Tom Costello. From movie chase scenes to aerial farmland surveys, wildfires, wildlife, law enforcement, package delivery, you name it, the real drone invasion is still waiting on the FAA to set the rules. I've got the ability to sit and hover and look at something for a while to make sure, is this the person we're looking for? But the nation's leading aviation schools are not waiting. All right, so we're nice and stable. Already training a new generation how to fly an unmanned aerial system, or UAS. When you're first learning how to fly this thing, what's the biggest challenge? I would say the biggest challenge is the positional awareness of the aircraft. So whether it's flying towards you or whether it's flying away from you, you have some different control. And it's not just small models. We're about two miles south of Tornado. But bigger military-sized drones as well. Class enrollments up more than 1,000 percent. The hardest part for us in coping with it is how quickly the technology changes. It's a generational shift here at Embry-Riddle, which has taught traditional piloting since 1926. Now in just three years, its unmanned aviation major has grown from 11 students to more than 200. A hundred colleges and universities now offer similar programs amid estimates of 100,000 jobs over the next 10 years. Junior Alexa Roman hopes she lands one of them. It seemed to be the wave of the future and especially with the military. At the University of North Dakota. A uh, point of interest is uh, turning right on, looks like 18th Street. Students who already have a commercial pilot's license are hoping to be among the first certified drone pilots. The benefits that this industry will provide, I think, is just going to be exponential. It could start in just a few months when the FAA announces the rules on who's allowed to fly and where. After that, the sky could be the limit. Tom Costello, NBC News, Daytona.